Steve Gamash with a chef knife to go. A quick look product video. This time we're looking at the Masa oh, I have a typo there, but Masakage Mizu <clears throat> Gyoto 240 millimeter. Sorry about that typo. Just noticed that. The core steel is Aogame Blue number two, uh, blue paper number two, carbon steel. And the heat treat rating on this is uh, 62 to 64 Rockwell, so fairly hard. And the construction on this is a reactive cladding over the top of that. Um, blue number two core so it has got a kuda uchi blacksmith finish on it a very smooth ku finish in addition they've also coated the blade with lacquer as well so it's got kind of a double protection on this particular one but it's a nice ku finish you've got their chiseled kanji on this as well the weight on this blade is 7.6 ounces uh, 215 grams back to the construction there's no stainless on this so it's a completely reactive blade <clears throat> The blade length is 246, so it's a bit oversized. Generous length at 9.7 inches, and the overall length is a little under 16 inches for the entire blade. <clears throat> the spine at the base is not particularly thin, but this is Masakage's style. Right here, it's about 3.35, but then it drops down quickly after that and pretty much holds that, drops down a little bit more, and then holds that thickness all the way till you get to the grind of the knife about right here on the tip. The height at the heel on this is 51.2, so pretty generous for a 240. And the handle type is their oval ambidextrous cherry wood handle with a resin, kind of plastic resin ferrule. You do have a little bit of a step here, but that's just the construction method on this. Um, I don't think it's particularly obnoxious or anything. Um, it's got good fit and finish, nicely done at the uh, entry to the tang. Um, one of Masakage's classic styles is this curve to the heel into the neck with a generous distance so you can get a nice pinch grip on there and get your finger under there. This has nicely relieved neck choil area as well as spine so it's very comfortable right out of the box. Um, the handle is about three inches in diameter so just a, just a nice kind of normal middle of the road size on the handle. I shouldn't say diameter, it's circumference, excuse me. <clears throat> and um, the Knife itself is not super thin, but it thins down pretty nice for the grind at the edge, so it's a good performing knife. And they've got kind of their standard Masakage profile. It's just a good general 240 profile with enough of a good flat spot and a gentle curve towards the tip for some belly. So this knife is good for a variety of techniques, cutting-wise. And the out-of-the-box edge on all Masakages I've handled so far, which is quite a few, is great. I'm going to give this a good 7 out of 10. And they're very sharp out of the box, and they've got a bit of tooth on the blade as well. Uh, so they're all quite sharp out of the box. They're one of the better, consistent, out-of-the-box factory edges of any maker I've seen so far. <clears throat> the uh, balance point on this knife, it's a little bit blade-heavy. It's right about there. Your pinch grip's a little bit behind that. Um, so it's got a little bit of a heft to the blade. Um, it uh, feels good in the hand, but it's got a little bit of meat to it, so a little bit of cutting power to the blade. And Sean uh, Fernandez, a.k.a. Mr. Knife Fanatic, has a good performance video where he reviews this knife and gives it good marks, and you can get a look at how it performs in the kitchen. So uh, it's just a typical nice Masakage design and uh, a real nice blade. So there you have the Masakage Mizu. Gyoto 240 millimeter.